to take weed i'll cook my weed into a tea oh, okay. and drink it because it is what adam and eve took in the garden of eden that were took that uh, apple they took weed no and they were oh no. brian that, that that is not what is written in the Bible. yeah everything that is written is not what it is it's weed they took weed where okay. is it written where did you get this for it doesn't have do you know of the book book of enoch yeah i've heard of book of enoch. okay so you should read a book of enoch and okay. it's written in in black that they took weed brian and they took weed <sighs> with tea it's with tea now in modern day they call it shocker but even the sh Adichie bi ayi ni emu nsem adichie bi anso ya na ikro no akasa asem aha e ga na info tv so ensem bebre na e trendi wo social media no e so die e je no home na wa fofra ma so ni enkasi amemu ya gba gba ni nyana no ani abo ni tofa ni e di ya ba be som e ya hwefo ni adofo nyana ne ne di aba social media no e so me pese obeka me ho ni nyana di ani apako sha die ba ya chuem choka the mix with all sort of things but if it is just weed genuine clean weed if you drink it trust me you will know what you, you will know we are supposed to know if you want to know that's the way i'm telling you today they, should, they can come and arrest me i'll go to jail but i'll still talk about it you think we should legalize we? oh yeah some people thought it was out of experience something that happened to you was a like real i was raped life, like a yes a real life story I, i've been raped before but you know that was not the motivation okay yeah. was it before the song or after the song hey, no it was after the song who raped you i'm robert ah is it true yeah they raped you how many are how one many? one it was one person that raped me but they they raped almost everybody in the house but it was just one person it was two people that raped me actually yes yeah they knew this is me one person in my bedroom and one person in my kitchen Info no hold on I wish we were not talking about this. Oh my goodness. It's... Like, um, what, what happened? What happened that day? So we were in a room, we were sleeping. Me, to be honest, what happened is that I was sleeping in my bed and I felt uh, somebody hit my back so hard. And I woke up. And when I woke up, I saw a face with a bandana with a handkerchief wrapped on the person's like a uh, disguise on the person's face okay yeah and they asked for money i gave them the money and i told them where money is i showed them a few things and then the person asked me to lay down went down the bed i did and then gunpoint yeah gunpoint yeah and after he was done another person to drag me to the kitchen and he asked me to lie down i did and he also raped me they protected themselves or no 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 it was wrong so you went to the hospital after that yeah snake's hospital i had to sue i even had a therapist there who was talking to me every time they checked us for hiv and they put us on hiv treatment that is a, a terrible experience yeah, yeah, yeah it was were yeah. they arrested they were arrested and then few years later i heard that they were in Sawam and then they they died or somebody died or something did you you curse them oh by my i didn't have to curse them what they did to me was enough for them to be cursed i didn't have to i sure you didn't curse them i didn't curse them officially but in my heart i was hurt and i wish that anything terrible will happen to them and terrible things happen to them wow yeah that day how many were you in the house do you remember i can't i was more, seven or eight seven ladies yeah it was just girls okay the only boy was my son okay um john not even at the bar okay he, john was very small by then yeah and up to now he remembered everything that happened wow. and there was one girl one of my dancers she was pregnant i didn't even know okay. i knew after the whole incident was was it 
before was was she pregnant before the incident? she was pregnant before the incident and okay. after the incident that i realized that she was pregnant okay because when we went to the police station they have to check us so then i realized she was pregnant she was like four or five months pregnant laptop you got angry why Obrima, you know she didn't want to she had the interview she wanted to make fun of us because she thinks i can't afford a laptop I can afford anything I need, Brahima. But the reason why we put it out there that we needed a laptop is because I want my son to experience working with brands. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And then because she wanted to train and she wanted to make me feel bad, she jumped on it with her useless talks. And I gave it back to her. That's basically what happens. She can't afford a laptop for my son because that laptop that my boy wanted at that time, we didn't even have it in Ghana. Really? No, she wanted Surface 2. Okay. Surface 2 Pro, and we didn't have it. So I have to find people who have it outside Ghana to order it for it to come. Okay. So that is what you bought for him? Eh? Oh, I got him a Surface 2 Pro. How much did it cost you? 22 or oh, 21,000 Ghana cities. You bought a laptop worth 21,000 for your son, yes. executive producer. Daniel J the same person the same person and he dated me too oh you were dating him uh, yeah and i mean any i was training with him like uh, i was going out with him okay it wasn't my choice but he offered to go out with me and i accepted because then i was so broke i didn't have anybody mm. and he was so old and cute and he offered me a, a fresh, oh. nice new apartment at Laboni. Wow. You know, I had my own bedroom, my own toilet, my well, own well, kitchen. You didn't have those things. I didn't. I mean, I mean, bra. You. I wasn't going to get any, any of that anyway. <laughs> but then when he started dating me, he, he, he wanted to prove his love to me. Mm. He gave me an apartment at Laboni, a papa. Mm. Bra. There was toilet, my mm. own toilet and bathroom. There was kitchen. It was so cute. My own kitchen. And then at my own bedroom with big bed, my own wardrobe with my clothes hanging. It was something new to me. So, yes, it was nice. So that's how it all started. What me. Was it in your plans to get married to him one day? No, 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 no. Because then he had some girl be that he was screwing. And he had a child with a girl so i didn't think he was going to marry me but i thought say he was going to be with me for like uh, end of the world they tell us in the churches it's not true it's not true it's it's, it's just to put fear in you to humble yourself put to the kitchen to cook for him i, uh, I can cook but i won't do that i've passed that stage many a pound hey are you above cooking yeah i am for your man mm -hmm. for anybody for my children i have I'm, I'm married i'm 44 years old i cannot cook for anybody i cannot save anybody i cannot bow down i cannot be anything for anybody but myself my children when they need something like the baby she has a nanny she wants to if i feel like she needs something i tell the nanny i think the baby needs smoothie give her smoothie I Once again um your, your name father busy okay so kindly introduce yourself okay thank you so much first of all i greet you and then i greet all the viewers can you can you please speak up for me all right first of all i greet you well any example from a bit to jam so in case who crap for our agent home and our social media does mr social yeah i bet you are your comment section from my mommy you saw no i like and watch it not to watch subscribe now i'm going to make you media so it's important for me and i know if you have to discover me that's how you're going to share me